2014, I was singing bluegrass music one night during my time at West Virginia University. I was singing a bluegrass Wednesday at a place called Schmidt Saloon. There's this pretty girl in the crowd who caught my eye. I remember thinking to myself, I'm going to go talk to her after the show and see if I can make something happen. I went down afterwards, introduced myself, walked away with her number, and I thought to myself, well, damn, I did pretty good. <laughs> I've got this. I asked her on a date for that weekend to go out to dinner, and she said no. <laughs> so the next week, I was like, all right, I'm going to ask her at the beginning of the week, give her plenty of time to rearrange her schedule to make time for me. So I asked her at the beginning of that next week, and she said no again. Oh shit. <laughs> if you know me, I'm a persistent fella. Put my nose to the grindstone and go after what I want. And for some reason, man, I wanted her. So I asked her out seven times over the next two months to go on a first date with me. Until she finally gave in, gave me a chance. And it's the best decision that she ever made in her life. We're married now. We got two beautiful little babies back home. My wife's from this little town in Florida called Plant City, Florida, and Plant City is known as the strawberry capital of the world. They grow them there like nowhere else. And every February when the strawberries come into season, they have the Strawberry Festival. And each year at the Strawberry Festival, a bunch of pretty ladies from all around Florida meet up and compete against each other to be crowned the Strawberry Queen. Yeah. 